real honor to spotlight Louisiana-based artist Jeffrey Derensborg and showcase his recent collaboration with filmmaker Fernando Lopez called Hoktiwe, Two Poems in Ishikoi, which is currently on display at the Contemporary Art Center, New Orleans. Jeffrey is a writer, editor, and storyteller who is an enrolled member of the Atakapa Ishak Nation of Indians of mixed indigenous European and West African ancestry. He's a founding editor of the zine, Bulbancha is still a place indigenous culture from New Orleans. Jeffrey is a fellow of the Center for Louisiana Studies at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and a resident of the French Quarter here in New Orleans. It is my pleasure to welcome Jeffrey to speak about his work and his process and introduce the seven minute film featuring his poetry. Jeffrey, I turn it over to you. Thank you, Clint. Uh, you'll call. Anike Jeffrey Harrisburg, Takapo Ishak, Ukitiki, Kwishiwatu Kiki, Ya Bulbancha Kata. Hey, y'all, I'm Jeffrey Harrisburg, uh, the alligator clan of the Takapo Ishak Nation. And I live here in Bulbancha, which is what colonists attempted but failed to rename as New Orleans. I say failed because some of us uh, still don't refer to it by that name. I am enrolled member. Nation. I'm also a Louisiana Creole. I grew up in Itahoma, what colonists uh, translated into French as Baton Rouge. And uh, my family's from across South Louisiana, uh, where we've lived for quite a long time. Actually, the Itakapa Ishak were kind of recent um, residents to Louisiana. We walked up here from Mexico about 4,000 years ago. Um, not as well, long as some of our animal cousins have been here. So thank you for inviting me uh, because this, uh, I am uh, a man that people may pass as white, but that people are always speaking Arabic and or Spanish too. I'm wearing a button up shirt and a green uh, neckerchief and a baseball cap. And the piece that we're going to see today is called Hop Two Way Two Palms in Easter Coin. What my artistic practice focuses on is largely indigenous recognition and uh, claiming a space for indigenous people here in Louisiana. So much of what we think of as Louisiana culture comes from indigenous people. The last time I was in Denver, I ate at a restaurant called Takabi, a really great restaurant there that's a native restaurant. And someone asked me, why don't you set something up like that in Louisiana? And I said, well, how would you tell? I mean, think of Louisiana food without pecans or cornbread or without red beans or without crawfish or without cayenne pepper. It's impossible. Uh, the fundamental foundation of Louisiana's cuisine is indigenous people. Even some of the aspects of our music, uh, greatest ever American musicologist, Alan Lomax, um, who was instrumental in the study and recording of American folk music. When he heard Cajun music, when he heard Zydeco, he thought, he said, this is fundamentally indigenous music. I've heard it before in other places in the US, but it seems to be people here have kind of forgotten what it was. Um, I have been working lately on language for about the past three years, and no one speaks our tribe's language, uh, which was incorrectly called the Takapen. Uh, and which people in the know call you Kitikoi or Ishakoi. Uh, our real name for ourselves is Ishak, which means those who have been born. And Atakapa, which means cannibal, was an exonym that um, Europeans used to kind of, I don't know, justify discrimination against us. Uh, we have a bit of anti-European stuff in our language because whereas in our language, we're called the Ishak, those who have been born, uh, the two words for white people, one of them is a Kiwilsh, which means an egg person. In other words, not quite born. The other one is Shaka, which means a dead person. There is always a bit of snark in the language. Uh, resistance to colonization is something that happens across multiple domains with indigenous people. And it's a continuous struggle for the past 500 years. Um, we also, in our tribe, uh, Almost all of us are of African ancestry. I know you, maybe I'm not the first thing that comes to mind when you look at that, but uh, I assure you that my father was a very light skinned uh, black dude um, and who was also of mixed ancestry, but I got my mom's hair, not his, so I don't have an Afro. Uh, nevertheless, uh, what remains of many of Louisiana's tribal nations is bound up with African people due to ethnic classification of us, um, 
Louisiana was told by the United States it couldn't have native slaves anymore after the so-called Louisiana Purchase. And so um, there was a mass reclassification of native people here in order to enslave us. And so many natives switch ethnicities on records throughout the 19th century, including members of my own family. Um, as part of my efforts to work in our language, I went through our tribal dictionary. We have a revised one done by linguist David Kaufman. And I extracted about 600 note cards of phrases and vocabulary. And this was to help me learn the language, but I also started to rearrange these cards into poems. That's an old practice that goes back to the Iliad and the Odyssey in ancient Greece. People used to do poetry that way, both remixing those texts. And the name, technical name for this type of found poetry is a cento. So what follows is a film I made that has one cento and one poem that is um, sort of of my own composition. These poems were composed during early quarantine uh, last March when I was a writer in residence at Studio in the Woods, which is a campus Tulane University has in the West Bank here uh, in Orleans Parish. And I was there much of the time completely alone, just surrounded by me and my animal friends, including a friendly alligator named Ashkoff. And at that point, uh, I composed these poems. Um, George Shear of the Contemporary Arts Center in New Orleans, New Orleans always in quotes, um, asked if I would contribute something to an exhibition. And so we had the idea of making a film. And so I selected Fernando Lopez, a wonderful filmmaker, most of, whom, most of whose films focus on people of color in protest movements. He's a friend of mine, we've worked on other projects. And the night before we did the audio for it, I decided I needed to write some music. And luckily I was able to compose the entire soundtrack in about an hour. And Fernando had the idea of making it a music video. Uh, usually when I collaborate, my idea is that I do what, I let the other person take care of their part, which was this type of video it would be. And I take care of mine, which was making the music and the, and the, uh, the words. And so what you'll see is a reflection of my feelings at that time. It's in Ishikoi. It is the first ever film that I know of entirely in this language. Although I'm not the first modern person to write in it, my tribal cousin and close friend, Tanner Menard, was another one uh, who has composed songs in the language. I hope that whatever language you speak, even if it's English, that you find a way to express what it is that you want to say, that you manage to live out loud, that you realize that your story is unique and that it needs to get out if you want it to get out, and there's a way. Also, if you're trying to restore some aspect of culture, do the tedious work. Um, these poems, this is seven minutes of poetry. I spent more time writing this than I've spent probably writing my PhD dissertation. It took an enormous amount of time to write in this other language. Uh, many, many months of work um, to get familiar with it and uh, do the tedious work. That's the thing I would really recommend to anyone who's in any kind of arts. And uh, so this is probably a good time. The film is seven minutes long. If you want to find me, uh, the title of the film is also my Instagram handle, Hoktiwe, H-O-K-T-I-W-E. It means we are together in East Chikoi, Hoktiwe, H-O-K-T-I-W-E is my Instagram handle. The way out, as we say, thank you. Uh, for listening, and I hope you enjoy our film. So, Clinton Zandeshe, if y'all would uh, cue that up and roll it. And I Tiwe, two poems in Isha Koi. A studio in the woods. Makpa la kaksha. Timuxt ang otse kouts. Shoka kenisht. Shokyuj anghal. Shul kulish weweosh. Kako otse shukit. Istoksh yukiti isha koikit. Antol a? Et utkosh, anke a? Tim kawash, patsto. Texok te paisht. Sukyosh he panso. Shakal, koi uktsma? 
Titi she what? A yikin po schwankit. Ha yukiti and kala he washo. A neshkok he washo. We shok yush ke hunto. Inkilish koi. Chukts shok yusho. Isha koi. Chukts shok yusho. Ewayo, shok misho. Octiwe. Katkosh koikit Ishak tesh Okyan Yukit he man Yal peyulat Shokshosh Shoksho Wang sholkit Tsikit tat Now tol wal washed it Iti he he well shot We shock noms pushkin wangam comes dit nash naken tlop tat ishak ishat han ulat sok taken ishakat tu token ishakat kui taken ishakat Nung tixt man wango, otse heo shu tukit, isha koi chuts koyo, ok wang hung shot, tik kakaukin poshwang kit, itans ots kaosh kit, shok tel sho kako to inikit, we shakat kak. Akili Kisho Shokto Heo Wike We Nongushkin Kata Kultan Oktishot Wish keo tiuk cho ya shok yu sho tsit lao kit tans dal tolka makawat pam nyulu lat ha ishak luken tik tat te makip nesh takamsh kam kamsh hok tewe Hot pale. We am. Hinosh 